Hello YouTube, Tim here, and I've got a two-ply of, this was one inch PVC. I made it about six inches long, well, let's find out. Six and a half inches long, doesn't really matter. Point is, what I did is I made it that long, cut two sections, I slit it with a box cutter. Once it's hot, just insert, slice down to make a nice straight cut, and then trimmed it off with my usual tin snips. I flattened them, and then I, once I had two of them, I reheated them both to the point where they started to deform, and then I reflattened them both between two two by fours using a clamp to flatten them together. So now they're mated. What I then did is I spread them with a super glue, the exact same one that I'm using for my arrows, my fletches, Easton quick bond adhesive. It's nice and viscous, sets slowly, but uh, fairly strong. So that worked just fine. That's the exact same one that I used on my other release aid and it had no problems. What I did is I printed out Nick's designs. I had to change them a little bit because the default print size was way too large. But if I printed two per sheet, two of the images per sheet, what it did was scaled it down just enough so that this hole and this hole are just perfectly three quarter inch and for whatever reason this one's just under three quarter inch. It shouldn't be a problem. I'll still be able to make the uh, make the hole just fine but nevertheless just wanted to let you guys know that this one's a little tiny bit smaller. What I did is I cut them out, arranged them. Now this is not an efficient arrangement. You could uh, you know spend a lot of time figuring out an efficient arrangement of them so you could pack them in as densely as possible, but I'm not so concerned. I just need three of them. This is easy enough to do. I sprayed the surface with spray adhesive Loctite brand, and then I stuck them on there. I then hit it with another layer of adhesive, and now I let it dry. It's a tiny, tiny bit tacky, but it's really ready for me to go ahead and cut. And now I have everything right on the material. I don't have to uh, eyeball it, freehand it. I like it so much. This is great. And I'll uh, show you the results. Within the next day or two, I should have them all cut out, finished, ready to go. And, you know, we'll be playing around with stuff like this as well as many, many other cool things. And I'm dying as the weather's heating up here now. I'm going to have an opportunity to go outside and test out my high speed camera, which I hope you're very excited about, and do some test shooting of the Dragonbone bow. It's going to be a great week, YouTube. Thanks for watching.